project idea list. And um, often moms always have projects in the back of their heads. Oh, I want to make curtains, or I want to make a dress, or I want to make a wreath for our door. Or, you know, and we often don't have time to just stop and do it right there. So what we need to do, and sometimes it kind of calms us, is to create a project idea list. So say I want to make a wreath. I'll put wreath down here. And that's maybe a, a project idea or someday, someday maybe idea. And then I'll say now or later. And whether I want to do it now or whether I want to do it later. And so here's the projects. This is how you plan them out. You can draw a picture or tape a picture down here. And then we have the project description. What does it look like? So my wreath I wanted to make was um, a herb wreath where you could put it in the kitchen. It's called a kitchen wreath. And you could take off herbs that are growing and some that were dried that were on the wreath. And um, I would tape a picture down here. Or I'd draw one if I didn't have one. And then I'd have a shopping list of what I needed. And I would have the next task. How would I go about doing this? So first I would lay out the certain kind of moss and then I'd put some potting soil in it and I would have some uh, some wire laying on there and I would wrap it all and then I would plant the plants. So that would be how you would lay out how making a wreath would happen. But you don't have to make a wreath. You could make whatever project it is you wanted, whatever it is that God is putting on your heart. Now, the next thing after that are these little lists, the daily to-do lists. And, um, and these I don't use every day, but I use them when times get difficult, when times are like crazy, like before Christmas or before Easter, before I put out a new book, um, then I would need to start making lists. What am I going to do Sunday? Monday, I have to have a thousand things to do. I have to call this person and that person. I have to, I have to uh, rework the table of contents. Um, but not everyone needs this, even if you don't have a book. But often, there are times in your life where it's just extraordinarily busy. And that's when you use this. And then you can, if you're a person that likes a record of things, then you just keep it. But if you're a person that likes to throw it away, like, okay, I did those tasks, that's great. I would cut it off and I throw it away. That's what I do. The, I'm not a person that likes a record of what I've done because... I want to move on to the next thing. So I, that's why I have the project list. 